Hello learners, welcome to our studio of National Institute of Open Schooling. I am Arvind Singh Negi, your maths teacher and today we are going to study the topic binomial theorem. Let's study the middle terms and the journal term in the expansion of a given binomial to us. So let's start with journal term first. Recall that we have studied the expansion of a plus b raised to the power n using binomial theorem which is equal to n c 0 a raised to the power n minus 0 into b raised to the power 0 plus n c 1 a raised to the power n minus 1 b raised to the power 1 plus n c 2 a raised to the power n minus 2, b raised to the power 2 and so on. At the last, we have the term n c n, a raised to the power n minus n, b raised to the power n. So learners, what we are observing here? Each term in the binomial expansion of a plus b raised to the power n is having the value of r 1 less than its position like the first term is having the value of r equal to 0, the second term is having the value of r as 1, the third term is having the value of r 2 and so on. Each term is having the value of r 1 less than its position. What we can conclude from here? Here the conclusion is the journal term. Journal term means the term which is applicable for all the terms which are in the expansion of a plus b raised to the power n. So the journal term is n c r a raised to the power n minus r b raised to the power r. The general term is generally represented by p r plus 1. Suppose we are given with a quotient x square plus y square raised to the power 8. Let us try to find the general term in the expansion of this given quotient. 8 c r x square which is in the place of a will have the power 8 minus r and in the multiplication we will have y square which is in place of b it will have the power r. On further solving this we will get 8 c r x raised to the power 16 minus 2 r into y raised to the power 2 r. So this is the general term in the expansion of x square plus y square raised to the power 8. So let us now study how to find the middle term in a given binomial to us. Suppose the binomial given to us is having even power then as we have studied in the expansion of a given binomial the number of terms is always one more than the power given to us like we are given x plus y raised to the power 3. So how many terms we will have in the expansion of it? We will have 4 terms. If we are given with x plus y raised to the power 7, the number of terms will be 8 and so on. So let us study how to find the middle term in a given expansion, given binomial expansion. Whenever the power of the binomial is an even number, the middle term is given by n by 2 plus 1. Suppose the power given to us is 8 then the middle term will be 8 by 2 plus 
oneth term. It means we have to just divide the power by 2 and we have to add 1 after it. The term which we will get after doing this calculation, that term will be the middle term in the expansion of the given binomial to us. Now, let us try to find the middle term whenever the power given to us is an odd number. For the odd power, the middle term is given by n plus 1 by 2th term. It means we have to just add 1 to the power and divide the result by 2. That term will be one of the two middle terms. The point to be noted here is whenever the power given to us is an odd number, we will be getting two middle terms. First middle term is given by n plus 1 by 2th term and the second term will be one more than this that is n plus 1 by 2 plus 1 th term. 1 th term means n plus 1 by 2 plus 1 whole within the bracket after that th term. For example, the power given to us is 7. Here, the power is an odd number. So, we will be getting two middle terms here. First term will be 7 plus 1 by 2th term and the next term will be 1 more than this. 7 plus 1 means 8 divided by 2 will give you 4. So, 4 term will be the first middle term and the term next to it will be fifth term. So, we will be getting two middle terms whenever we are having the power which is odd number. Now, let us try to find middle term in the expansion of x square plus y square raised to the power 8. Here, 8 is an even number. Recall that whenever the given power is an even number, then we are going to have only one middle term which is given by the formula n by 2 plus 1 at term. So, when we divide this given power 8 by 2, we will get 4 and according to the formula, we have to add 1 to it. So, what we will get? We will get 8 by 2 plus 1, which will be equal to 4 plus 1. It means we are going to find fifth term. Here, we will have fifth term as the middle term of the expansion of x square plus y square raised to the power 8. Recall the formula of general term which we have studied. The formula of general term is T r plus 1 which is equal to n c r a raised to the power n minus r and b raised to the power r. So, here in place of r we are having value 4. Why we are having value 4 here? Because we are going to find T5, fifth term and in the formula of general term, we are having T r plus 1. So, putting the value of r equal to 4 in the formula of general term for this given binomial, we will get T4 plus 1 equal to 8 c 4 x square raised to the power 8 minus 4 y square raised to the power 4, which will be 8 factorial divided by 4 factorial into 8 minus 4 factorial. This 8 minus 4 factorial is in the denominator. This term is to be multiplied by x square raised to the power 4 into y square raised to the power 4. So, finally, the middle term is equal to 70 x raised to the power 8, y raised to the power 8. So, this will be the fifth term which is the middle term in the expansion of x square plus y square raised to the power 
8. So, let us take another example in which the power given to us is an odd number. Recall the formula for finding middle terms in the expansion of a given binomial whenever the power is an odd number. So, whenever the power given to us is an odd number, the middle term is given by n plus 1 by 2 a term and the second middle term will be equal to n plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 th term. So, we are going to have two middle terms whenever the power given to us is an odd number. So, let us apply this formula for finding the middle terms in the expansion of 2 x square plus 1 by x whole raised to the power 9. Observe that the power given to us here is an odd number which is 9. So, we are going to have two middle terms. First middle term will be n plus 1 by 2. So, in place of n let us put equal to 9. 9 plus 1 by 2 will be equal to 10 by 2 which is equal to 5. So, fifth term will be one of the middle terms which we will be getting and the second term will be sixth term. Now, again recall the formula of journal term. The journal term in the expansion of a plus b raised to the power n is given by n c r a raised to the power n minus r b raised to the power r. Using this formula, we have to find fifth term and the sixth term. So, let us put r is equal to 4 in the formula of journal term for finding fifth term. Putting r is equal to 4 in the formula of journal term, we will get the value t 5 equal to 9 c 4 2 x square which is in the place of a will have the power 9 minus 4 and 1 by x will have the power 4. On simplification, we will get 9 factorial divided by 4 factorial into 9 minus 4 factorial into 2 x square raised to the power 5, 1 by x raised to the power 4. So, on further simplification, we will get the value 4032 into x raised to the power 6. So, this is the first middle term which we will get in the expansion of 2 x square plus 1 by x raised to the power 9. So, let us try to find the next middle term which is sixth term in the expansion of the given binomial. For finding the sixth term, the value of r will be taken as 5 because in the formula of journal term, we have t r plus 1. So, putting r is equal to 5 in the formula of journal term, we will get t 5 plus 1 equal to 9 c 5 2 x square raised to the power 9 minus 5, 1 by x raised to the power 5. On simplifying this, we will get the value 2016 into x raised to the power 3. So, what we found here? Whenever n is odd, we are getting two middle terms. In the given question, the two middle terms are 4032 x raised to the power 6, 2016 x raised to the power 3. So, these are the two middle terms which are in the expansion of 2 x square plus 1 by x raised to the power 9. So, listener this is how we find the middle terms in the expansion of a given binomial to us. So, what we have learned today? We discussed how to find the expansion of a given binomial which is having higher powers but the power is a natural number. 
second thing we studied how to find the general term in the expansion of a given binomial and at the last we studied how to find the middle terms in the expansion of a given binomial. So, listeners if you have any queries regarding these topics you can contact us our website is www.nios.ac.in. So, keep on watching us. Thank you and have a good day.